Hi everyone, Joe for Jazby's CaseBreaks.com. Yep, another four box break of 2022-23 Bowman University Chrome Basketball. A very appropriate time to get this because it's NBA Draft Night tonight. We're seeing the rest of the second round here. It's a four box random letter break number 48, the final third of the case. There's all the letters right there, giving away four extra spots within the break to the people who bought full spots. Thank you. So now, let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a three, seven times. Top four after seven, we'll get spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Extra spots for Eric, Nancy, and Kyle. All right, so we'll put the little symbols next to your name so you know you won those spots. But those were the winning spots. There are the letters. There is a new list. Let's roll it, randomize names and letters. Five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, six. And 11th and final time. Five and a six, 11 times for the letters. Hey, thanks for getting in, Eric. Two, three, four, five, six, six. And 11 and final time. There you go, after 11, we got A down to Victor. All right, Eric with A, Zach with WZ, Conrad with C, Nancy with P, Daniel EG, and NO, Kyle with T, Nathan with F, Nathan with B, Eric, you got K, Kyle with LH, Nancy with S, Eric with M, Nathan DJ, Eric with R, and Nathan with V. All right, we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit. I gotta run and grab a couple containers, restock some supplies. Maybe there'll be a, a trade and then we'll have the four boxer. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. Happy Thursday, happy NBA draft night, happy Joe's Friday. Here's break 48, the final third of that case we popped open. And this is fun because we're, we're seeing we are seeing all the different uh, the players getting drafted, which we like to see. I like my camera angle is a little, it's a little off here. Okay, as good as it's gonna get. All right. Anyway. I think in the last break, we went through the, uh, in break 47, we went through the first round picks here in break 48. We're not done yet with the second round, but James Najee got picked up by the Pistons. Jalen Pickett went to the Pacers. Leonard Miller went to the Spurs. Colby Jones went to uh, Charlotte. Julian Phillips went to Boston with a pick that was been traded around a number of times. On the Wikipedia, it says, pick second round, pick 35 overall, Julian Phillips, small forward, United States, Boston Celtics, parentheses, from Portland via Atlanta, LA Clippers, Detroit, and Cleveland. That pick turned into the Tennessee freshman. Andre Jackson Jr. went to the Orlando Magic. The Yukon Jr., the uh, Clemson Senior, Hunter Tyson went to OKC. And Jordan Walsh with the 38th overall pick went to uh, went to Sacramento. My Lakers, I forgot that they made some sort of moves. I think they did they trade down to 47. No, maybe they didn't. They traded. Not sure what happened with the Lakers. I thought they had the 40th pick. Anyway, 
my Lakers pick is 47. Lakers have, my Lakers have been doing pretty well with undrafted players like Austin Reeves from a couple years ago. Second round players. Alex Caruso comes to mind. Even late first round picks like Kyle Kuzma a number of years ago. So I feel, I feel, I'm very interested in who they're going to take at 47. And if they're going to you know, could turn into a somebody. You know, Max Christie was their second round pick last year. And I think he's just got some looks during some, some games here and there. So if he keeps working on it, he could, he's, he's a work in progress. All right. First one. There's the Lakers' first round pick. There's Armando Baycott to 399. Uh, purple mini diamonds. I don't think he's been drafted yet, but that'll go to Eric in the letter A. There's Trey White. 73 out of 75. Going to Kyle in the letter T. Yellow parallel. Jet Howard, Jawan's kid was uh, drafted. And here's our first autograph. That's Jackson Kohler. Was Jackson Kohler drafted? No, Jackson Kohler not drafted. But we'll go to Nathan, the letter J. Nine out of 50. There's Caitlin Clark. And we'll go to Conrad in the letter C. She'll certainly be a high first round pick whenever she declares. I think she's doing one more at Iowa. And we got Judah Mint, another letter J. Nathan. And there's an Invicta, Caitlin Clark. All oh, right, yeah, that pick did go to the Lakers. Maxwell Lewis, who I think made they made the Lakers made the deal with Denver. Now I'm suddenly interested in Maxwell Lewis, who is from Pepperdine. That's a, that's a school about maybe 45 minutes north of Jaspies, so what is close to Malibu. Compared to the NBA? He's the... Uh, he, he just said it right now. It was he's like the, the deputy... He's, like the, he's number two. He's like assistant. Like vice president or something? Yeah. 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 So if something happens to Silver, he takes over? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, oh. I didn't see that. Is that his girl? Might be. That's, 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 that's NBA level right there. That's, 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 NBA, that's NBA level right there. He's already, he's already got it. She's not being left behind. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think he's just like the, I don't know who. He would be the next in line, right, if that was the case. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, who's like Roger Goodell's number two? Like he shows up on second round stuff. Yeah, I forget his name. But yeah, this is the one that always does the the lottery. Mm -hmm. Basically, stuff Adam Silver doesn't want to do. <laughs> He's like, ah, eh, 
Yeah. I don't want to pick number, pick teams for the draft. We'll, we'll let you do it, Mark Tatum. All right, so a Pepperdine kid went to the Lakers, ladies and gentlemen, Maxwell Lewis. Now all of a sudden I'm interested in him. <laughs> He's a forward. Average 17, 5, and 3 assists. He's a 6'7 small forward that knows how to put the ball in the basket across all levels. That's good. Lakers need that size, that energy, the scoring. 35% from 3. Okay, needs that. Mentality to be a strong offensive player in the NBA. Weaknesses, he's unproven on defense and needs to take four sets where that. You could probably say that for every young kid. But has a size and athleticism to impact that side of the ball, but needs to develop. Darvin Ham could do that. It's also unknown how Lewis's game will translate to the NBA. He was somewhat turnover prone in college and he won't be able to rely on his size and athleticism. A combination of this capable range of defenders. Matching up with him in the NBA. Player comps, Devin Vassell, Stanley Johnson. I don't mind that from the 40th overall pick. I'll take that. Maybe shoot some threes. Got a little bit of size. Can run with the second unit. I'm into it. Best player ever. Laker legend. Laker legend, Maxwell Lewis. Here's Race Thompson to 399. It's going to be for R, Eric. Ashlyn Walker, Watkins that is, and there's Jaden Zachary. I don't think we've seen his name get called yet. A couple Caitlin Clarks for Conrad and let her see all those add up. There's Anthony Black. He was drafted. There's out of 150 an Invicta Anthony Black. That is, uh, he's the sixth overall pick by the Orlando Magic. So hey, how about this, Eric, with letter A? Ray Wave. Sixth overall pick, top ten pick. I'll take it. I'll take it. There's the Lakers first round pick and there's Ashlyn Watkins. Ray Wave autograph for the letter A, Eric. That's to 199. Uh, a South Carolina game cut. Is she going to be is she drafting? Being drafted? No. She's still in college, I think. But hang on to this. Could be it could be one of the top WNBA picks right here. For whatever it's worth, on October seventh or November seventeenth, twenty twenty two, Watkins stole the ball in the closing seconds of number one South Carolina's eighty five thirty one road win against Clemson. Once in possession of the ball, Watkins dribbled the ball to the basket and slam dunked it. The first dunk in South Carolina women's basketball history. How about that? And she's only 6'3". South Carolina is pretty good, too. So, High-profile college program. Jay Bill is talking that with the way Portland's drafting, it seems to suggest that, that it might not be long before Damian Lillard is moved. Let's see. I mean, that'd be wild.
Ryan Rubert, a guard. So, in fact, the Trailblazers, I think, have had a number of picks, right? They got Scoot Henderson, a point guard, third overall. They got Chris Murray, a power forward. They got Julian Phillips, small forward. Or no, check that. Sorry, those are those are trades. My bad. Um, they got Scoot Henderson, third overall, a point guard. They got Chris Murray, a power forward, with their twenty-third pick. And then they just picked up a uh, another guard in Ryan Rupert from France. A guard. I don't know, is the writing on the wall? I don't know how much... I mean, I don't think the Lakers are in from... They'd have to move... I think they're intent on keeping the picks that they've made, or at least the, their, their number, what, 17 overall pick in uh, Shafino Hood, according to reports, early reports. And I don't think they have... They can make the money work with... Damian Lillard as well, but who can make the money work? Who could use a Damian Lillard? Surely, Portland and Damian Lillard, I think, work relatively closely together. I think if they're going to trade him, they might want to try to do him a solid. They're not going to send him to Siberia, right? Who could use... Who has the assets to send to Portland, and who could, who could use... A Damian Lillard. And Damian Lillard most certainly wants to be on a playoff team. Portland would preferably not see him in the West. Right? Which would be almost any rival of theirs. Here's Cam Whitmore. He got drafted. Cam slipped a little bit, but he ended up going to 20th overall to the Rockets. Small forward out of Villanova. Letter C, Conrad. I think there were some, from what little I've read, maybe some injury concerns had, he's supposed to be drafted maybe higher. There's Marcus Sasser, he was drafted. 25th overall went to the Grizz. Out of 150, going to letter M, that's going to go to Eric Houston. Or Terry Morris. And behind Jet Howard is Armando Baycott, letter A. That is for Eric. I don't think I've seen him drafted just yet. Remember, there's guys who are on the who may go undrafted and could be picked up by teams. So keep an eye on those over the next couple days. There's Marcus Sasser again, Anthony Black. Jordan Walsh was just drafted not too long ago. Where did he go? Yeah, 38th to the Kings. That'll go to letter J. That'll be for Nathan. Gabe, what's going on? G-Lo in the house. All right. And our final box. Final box of the case. The next four box break is um, is from a fresh case, and it looks like a spot taken there already. So a fresh search for some of the top picks in the NBA draft happening today. And again, like I said, keep an eye on the undraft. I mean, if you get this stuff in the mail and you're like, oh, these guys didn't get drafted, look look up on the old Google machine and see if they're picked up by any team. Um, as an undrafted player because a lot of times those players end up in summer league. I've seen times where undrafted players go off in summer leagues, which inevitably helps with the hobby. 
you could probably sell high on, on a player like that. Or if, you, or if you're a believer, you can keep that player. Remember, Austin Reeves for the Lakers was an undrafted free agent. Lakers do a pretty good job of that. But they, he was an undrafted free agent, picked up by the Lakers, and is now going to get a big paycheck because he's been playing really well the last couple seasons and has just made improvements every month of his career, basically, to the point where he's starter in the playoffs for the Lakers alongside Anthony Davis, LeBron James. Pretty effective scorer. He's got moves, too. I think he says he talks a lot about how he watches guys like Trey Young and James Harden and how, uh, and how they draw fouls. He's got that in his game. So he draws a lot of fouls. Tough guy, takes a lot of charges. Kind of a, I think he's an Arkansas farm boy, I think. Small town. Golfer, likes to golf. I wouldn't mind golfing with Austin Reeves someday. Seems like a nice guy. Not as intimidating as like a superstar like LeBron James. Also, although, I wouldn't mind golfing with LeBron. I could golf with LeBron. It'd be fine. It's Kiki Rice to three ninety nine. Purple mini diamonds, letter K, Eric Houston. Suppose I'd be a little nervous if he was like taping it for a show or for a show or something like that. I don't want to be on camera. Not with LeBron. I mean, I'm on camera now, <laughs> but not like in a in a show type situation. No thanks. Jaden shoot, Ray wave. It'll be for Nathan. Thirty six out of one ninety nine. Cam Whitmore. Caitlin Clark, MJ Rice Aqua Wave to 299. That'll be for Eric Houston. Caitlin goes to Conrad. That's Armando Baycott. And the autograph is Jalen Washington. Green auto for Nathan. Thirty-seven out of ninety-nine. Is there maybe another parallel left here, perhaps? There's Lauren Betts, Cam Whitmore, Invicta, Bryce Sessenbaugh got drafted, and there's Trey White. There you go, gang. Another one in the books. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Jaspie's Case Breaks.